Hey, shalom, shalom. This is the brother Dunya Allah coming back again with another lesson, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Arakai Kodash. You know, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. You know, for giving us this knowledge, all right, and opening our minds to understand this truth, all right, uh, through the men that He set up through the Spirit. All right, which is, you know, our apostles and elders of a great millstone that taught us this truth. Double honors to them. All right. And shalom to all the hopeful elect, the brothers and sisters that believe in this word that has awakened unto this truth. You know, salutations unto you. Um, and this is uh, in transit that I'm doing while I'm on my way to, uh, you know, my destination. All right. And, you know, I actually looked this up uh, last night, you know. Um, and basically, uh, we'll see what the spirit gives me the title of the lesson, but basically, you know, food, all right, food, uh, you have something called food for thought, right? Food for thought. All right. All right. The thing, the things that sustain you in life and, you know, helps you to survive is not only the physical food that you put, you know, in your mouth that goes into your 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 physical belly, right? You know, you might eat an apple, or you might eat some fruit, or some meat, or some rice, or chicken, right? That's not the only thing that you need to to survive. That's not the only thing that you need to live, right? Knowledge, wisdom, and understanding is food for your mind, for your spirit. Right, so you know, wanted to. So I got the word for food here in the etymology dictionary, and this is an in transit. So you know, bear with me if it takes a little bit of time for me to read some of this stuff because I'm driving. Right, so here it says for food, it says nourishment, fuel. Now, now, uh, when you actually look into that word nourishment. Right, nourish, nourish, going back into nutrients. Right, the word mint means mind. Right, nutrients for your mind. Okay, now when you do eat food, your brain takes up a lot of those different, uh, a lot of those calories, so that the brain can operate and function properly. You know, I believe it takes up a third of the energy of the body once the food is digested. Uh, and the nutrients go throughout the body. The brain takes up most of it. Now that makes sense because your your spirit resides in your mind. You know, if you go, you know, you don't want to go uh, uh, basically brain dead. You know, you'll basically, you know, be dead. <laughs> you know, but um, so it says nourishment, right? Fuel, all right, what your body needs to survive, to live, to move, to operate. Right now, we're just going to hop down to the to these definitions here, where it says see more. Um, let me see. Let me go down even further. Right? So food is not only physical things that you put into your body. Right? So we're going to read the, the, the general um, definition, and then we're going to read the, uh, the alternative definition. Um, it says food, any substance that can be metabolized, right, broken down by in, by an animal, and we can be considered as animals. Animals just means uh, uh, basically alive, lively. It says to give energy and to build tissue, right? Synonyms, nutrient, right? That's that's what we got the word nourishment. It says any solid substance, as opposed to. Uh, one second, let me make this turn. Any solid substance as opposed to liquid that is used as a source of nourishment, right? A source of nourishment, right? Now, down here it says anything that provides mental stimulus for thinking. Anything that provides mental stimulus for thinking, right? Now, I remember, uh, you know, uh, one of the elders' camps, either at their camps or their sit-downs, uh, they were talking about, you know, in the time of this scamdemic, 
where you know they gave people stimulus checks you know basically to stimulate them to stimulate them to buy um, you know goods and products and the uh, elder apostle Tahor said well I'm you know I don't I don't need no stimulus check basically I'm already stimulated right through the word <laughs> right to stimulate your mind right so food for your mind now you got good food for your mind and you got bad food for your mind right the good food is that the true understanding knowledge was an understanding of the scriptures right the bad food is all that other stuff man all those other philosophies right Christianity Hinduism uh, feminism right all these different philosophies that are pushed out by America right the image of the beast right all these different uh, 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 philosophies and, and conducts and ways of life right yeah your yeah, anastrophe as it is in the Greek all these different conversations right which you know your conduct and your behavior right that that uh, these this world pushes right is the wrong type of nourishment for your mind all these different philosophies really really these philosophies the word philosophy means the love of knowledge all these different so-called knowledges the knowledge of the world is not food for your mind really it brings you unto destruction now I got a precept for that too um, real quick Ecclesiastic Ecclesiasticus the book of Sirach chapter 19 and verse 22 it says the knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom right so the knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom and all these different philosophies they, they fall into uh, a knowledge of wickedness you know some of them you know have a uh, you know, uh, a certain type of uh, righteousness to them. You know, like the, um, you know, the Stoics about being disciplined instead of the Epicureans. That's all about pleasure, right? You know, some of these different ones are, you know, they can line up with the scriptures, right? But those that are blatantly against the Most High, you know, uh, sodomy, the the alphabet community, you know, how what they how they view life and you know, they they think they were uh, um, they were supposed to be born a woman and all this other stuff. All these, you know, because there's a philosophy that comes with that. You know, the Big Bang theory. All of those is not real wisdom, right? Having the knowledge of of how of how to break the commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is not true wisdom. All right, and uh, right. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna come back. Well, I'll, I'll pause. All right, Shalom, Shalom, Salaki. That was the the brother calling me. Um, right. It said the knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom. Neither is neither at any time the counsel of sinners prudence. Right. So these different philosophies ultimately will bring you to destruction right because it's not according to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and the true knowledge and his commandments right and hey hey if you're not ultimately if you're not uh, uh, with the most high you're against the most high just as this, the scriptures uh, where the Lord said them that gathereth not with me scattereth abroad you know so you hey if you're not if you're not with the most high all right, then you're with Satan, basically. Right. So I uh, just want to get some more examples to show you that food um, is not only for your physical body, but also for your mind and your spirit. All right. Knowledge, wisdom and understanding is the real food of the scriptures. Matthew chapter four, verse four. It says, but he answered and said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone. But by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of the Most High. Let me read the verse before that. Because this is when the Lord was uh, fasting. All right. In the in the uh, wilderness. And Satan came to tempt him. Right. It says. And when the tempter came to him. This is verse 3. He said. If thou be the son of the Most High. Command that these stones be made bread. Right. Because if he's the son of the Most High. That means he got the power. Of the son of the most high. He got that spiritual power. 
right? And the Lord had the power to turn those stones into bread, right? But that's not what he was supposed to do at that time. He was supposed to maintain his fast, you know, finish it off, so to speak, right? Because he's been, he, he was a hungered after 40 days and 40 nights. It says, but he answered and said, it is written, man shall not live, live, right? You need physical nourishment to live, but you also need spiritual nourishment, right? Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of the most high, right? The law, statutes, and commandments, which is our wisdom in the sight of the nations, as the scriptures say, right? So that's one example right there. Uh, another one. John chapter 7, verse 38. He that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Now, when you read this, you have to understand that the word belly means the mind. Right? He's not actually talking about, oh, if you believe... The, the water is actually going to come out of your mouth from your belly, you know, like you see some of these uh, alien um, movies and whatnot. Water is not going to actually come out of your mouth, right? It says, uh, he that believeth on me, as the scriptures have said, all right, you, when you believe, okay, as the scripture has said, that all takes place in your mind, Right? It says, out of his belly, out of your mind, shall flow rivers of living water, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Right? And you can tell whom the Lord is dealing with because they always got knowledge flowing out of them. You know, case in point, GMS. All right? And certain uh, other camps that that believe in 100% truth, that have the 100% truth. Right? The, the true doctrine. Right? They always got... You know, GMS is a, is, a, is a working camp, man. Always got knowledge coming out day in and day out, 24-7, all, all times of the night, all over the world, right? So the belly represents the mind, meaning what? You can eat with your mind, right? You can eat with your mind, and basically the gateways to your mind is... um. The gateways to your mind is your eyes and your ears, because this is what you use to observe, right? Your eyes and your ears, the, the faculty of those two sentence, uh, sen senses, senses, right? It says, uh, now we're going to go to Ezekiel chapter 4. Um, Salakia, not 4, not 4, it must be 3. Ezekiel chapter 3. Um... Okay, Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 1. It says, Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, eat that thou findest. So he's saying to eat. Now, is he talking about literally eat a physical thing? No. Right? And this this is basic understanding to understand of, um, to understand uh, Genesis, the, the, the third chapter. You know, with the, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil and the fruit, eat the fruit of the tree. The fruit is not actually a fruit. It's a philosophy. It's knowledge. It's knowledge of, 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 of the left hand side. Right. But seeing that they knew the right hand side already, they 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 knew both sides. OK, so it says um, it says, uh, eat that thou findest, eat this roll and go and speak to the house of Israel. So I opened my mouth and he caused me to eat that roll. Right now, what is that roll? The scriptures. Right. Meaning he opened his mind. He received in to his mind the knowledge and the understanding of the scriptures. Right. So I opened my mouth and caught and he caused me to eat. He caused me to eat. Right. He caused me to uh, take in this knowledge. And he said unto me, son of man. Cause thy belly to eat, meaning your mind, right? And fill thy bowels with this roll that I give thee, right? Cause your belly to eat and fill thy bowels with this roll that I give thee. Now, in the physical sense, when you eat food, it goes into your belly. Your body, as I said, 
we read metabolize it. It breaks down the food, gets all the nutrients out, but it has to get down into those those bowels, that lower intestine to start, you know, to uh, uh, to extract all these different nutrients out, right? To pull them out for your body to use them, right? So that your body can live, right? The, the, the scriptures are full of parables and metaphors, right? You know, uh, uh, things that are symbolic, right? One thing meaning another thing, right? Um, right, so meaning... Met, basically meditate on the scriptures meditate upon it let it seep into your mind think upon it right and that's really how it, how it happens you start to get into the word you read you watch videos you take notes and then you meditate upon it and then the lord starts you know you start to digest it you know let it you know uh uh uh, uh you know fill your mind up and then the Lord started making light bulbs go off in your mind and you start to receive understanding. But you, you know, you, you let it seep into your mind. You meditate upon it. This is what he means by cause thy, thy bowels to eat. Digest it. With all thy getting, get understanding as the scriptures say. Right? It says, then did I eat it and it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness. Right? So the word is sweet. Right? But there's also bitter things in the word. You know, 